Okay, this is going to be part three. Yeah. All right. You don't believe the Hadith about Aisha talking about how a goat ate away a part of the Quran concerning breastfeeding and stunning adulterers? Well, some scholars did weaken it, unquote. Regardless, if, if it is true, that part that was chilled was abrogated. The Quran has different faces where abrogation took place. And then another Muslim jumps in to try to save him and says, What happened to First John 5, 5, 7? Did the goat eat it? But it's there, so why did the goat, how could the goat eat it? Uh, keep in mind that the Hadith is not a text of the Quran, but the First John is a text of the New Testament. What is 2 plus 1? Not that I say to him. What problem do you have with that scripture? It seems to be God's way of letting us know that there is a trinity and it wasn't written by Paul since it supposedly came centuries after Paul. First John 5, 7 is God's way of confirming the trinity. Do you in your full conscience believe that when this inserted text for a later development theological belief trinity becomes what you fall back on as evidence of, for the trinity, you should really reconsider things. Since, a, since God allowed it to be put in his angel, I'm going to believe God wanted it in his angel. And since Quran 568 tells me to stand firm upon the angel, I'm going to believe 1 John 1 5. I'm going to believe 1 John 1. Five seven. To reiterate, the Quran refers to the pure scriptures that were not corrupted, modified. So do yourself a favor. Instead of taking a verse out of context like that, you should read the Quran and understand its message. So all those inserted verses were all allowed by God. On the same logic, if a person commits rape and God allowed it, it then if it it then we should just re legalize rape. Great logic. Again, if the Bible is not the book that makes people the book, and if the Bible is not the before scriptures come to me for my reading of them, that'd be Quran 1094, then what are the before scriptures the Quran says the Quran confirms and reminds? If the angel is not the New Testament gospel, then how can Isa and his followers be uppermost until the day of resurrection? Instead, it's Jesus of Paul that is uppermost, not Isa's son of Mary. Then that got this other Muslim saying, Again, if the quote to be far scriptures in a misty, murky oil, a water setting, in galactic smoke of dust, spoiling plates in a black hole, where is the corruption? Furthermore, the materials in which there is eggs, there is a donkey. So please give me answer. Also, Nas said, the Eternal said, they kept on saying till he fell asleep on the donkey's back. Then Paul came along and had the wild dream. Then physiologists said that Na is Na. So don't worry about him. Help you understand. Quantum body with cells in the stomach. Yes, don't divert the subject. Waiting for answers. O. M. A. Islam must be true after all. That should be funny. Time and again, I keep repeating myself. It's cool though. Got all year. Okay. What you call the before scriptures, which are basically the angel and Torah, are confirmed by the Quran to be from God. But they aren't from Allah. Got it. Since you already follow the Quran on verses uh, like 1049, no, 1094. I was trying to say 1049 to, so we can't find it. 1094. You should follow the rest of the Quran, which will contradict the clear signs Quran 1094. Okay. If you read it, you would know that you are a kafir. I don't have to read it to know that. And you are at risk of going to hell. What if Allah wrote special instructions after I was a blood clot for 40 days and before I was born uh, that, I'd, that I'd be in paradise? You sure about that? You would realize the Quran is a criterion to the before scriptures by telling you in Quran 1094 to come to me for my reading the be before scriptures? Okay. <laughs> 
on what the conflicts the conflict and uh, whatever conflicts the Quran is. The man made corruption, insertion. You would also know that believing in the true Bible and Torah is basically believing in the message of the Quran. How do you know? By selecting bits and pieces, you are only deceiving yourself. If so, can you explain Quran 1094, please? I don't know, but from my comment, I am under the impression that you finally understand that the scriptures at hand are not the ones God sent previously. If not, then where is that angel to obey Quran, 10, Quran 547 and Quran 568 with? Where are they for you to obey Quran 1094 with? Well, not that, not the man made the parts, that is. That is what I call progress. If not, then where is that angel to obey Quran 547 and 568 with? Where are they for you to obey Quran 1094 with? You are asking me where you where your original scriptures are? No one has ever been to no one has been ever been to answer this question. All we have today is the corrupted versions. The closest you will ever get to those in the Quran. Why do you think the before scriptures became corrupted? Uh, when, when do you think the when do you think the, the before scriptures became corrupted? Was it before or after the abrogating abrogating scriptures of 2106 and 16101 were handed down? Which I cannot say precisely, but for example, we know the Nicene Creed at Nicaea in 3625 uh, uh, was held to officially declare the deity of Christ. So really, it cannot have gotten more corrupt than that. If so, then the Nicaeans knew their angel, since there are things in the angel that don't make sense if there is no trinity. Nope, it means blasphemy and circ and had an official field day, since the trinity itself makes no sense. It makes more sense than being using the royal plural when that being, Allah, can't stand you thinking it is more than one. Believe me, the Trinity makes more sense. Not at all. You are only putting putting forth immature Trinitarian arguments to try and to make sense of a pagan-based theology. Hey, I'm just obeying much of Quran 568 and all of Quran 547. That's all. Nope. You are selecting bits and pieces of the Quran overlooking its message and especially overlooking 7, Quran 7, verse 157. Either way, there seems to be two different outcomes for Pharaoh in the Quran, and you are to come to me for asking uh, about that while risking having me preach to you of how Jesus, how Jesus truly dying on the cross makes sense of all the sin offerings of blood atonement described the Torah, all is but given to Musa. Again, nope, Pharaoh drowned, and nope, I don't have to come to the, accept to you to accept the war, war to accept to accept to warn you of your blasphemy. The sin offering, so-called death, is a convenient rationale overlooking the entire bogus pagan ideology you infected the world with. You don't have to come to me for my reading, my reciting of the before scriptures Bible if you're in doubt about the quote clear signs? Well, who made you the new seal of the prophets? And yeah, he's going against he's going against Quran ten ninety four. I am not. You are twisting the text to suit your agenda. The verse addresses Muhammad. Well, praise all that you, a Muslim, don't have to use the exalted man as an example to live by. And then he starts speaking in tongues. Uh Shalah that was tongues for you, dude. That was tongues for dude. Seriously, what was that? That was tongues for cut dude. Seriously, that was a weak ass comeback. You think I'm a Pentecostal, true? Since Muslims believe Muhammad is the comforter Jesus was talking about. I bet they believe that when Muhammad entered the apostles at Pentecost, the, the apostles started uncontrollably shining Aloha snack bar and uh, talking about how the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah, Quran 3, 
Actually, Canon 36, 40 through 43. And uh, Stars uses missiles against the Shaitan, and Ambria is going through a 40 day blood clot stage before the angel enters the womb to let them know someday whether or not they'll be one cubit length from paradise, but go into the fire if the special decree overtake them that they be in the fire. True? I like. I like how you are googling stuff from anti-Islamic sites acting smart enough. Where did I post? What 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 did I post that was wrong? Post it. You you really you really want to go there, Mister Seven Headed Dragons? Go for it, Mister Ox Head perched on an ostrich neck. That's the Daba. It's supposed to come out of the ground. So he's a giant, gigantic monster that will uh, tag your head and make you turn black if you're an infidel. Mr. Flat Earth. Mr. Flat Earth on the back of a giant fish called Nun. Actually, scratch that. I thought if... Oh, I better stop it here.